All right, behind us is St. Francis Xavier Cathedral. This was built by Monsignor John Hawes. Okay. And I think um, it took 25 years to build this. 25 years? Yep. It, looks like it, has, it looks like it's been added on a lot. He's around. Look at that uh, roof, that dome roof up there. I wonder if, if we can go inside. I wonder if we can get up to that skylight up there. I wonder. Usually churches are open, but they've been closing them lately because obviously for vandals and we'll stuff. Walk but... up here. I don't even know if this is a Catholic church or a... You are getting slack <gasps> with your information. I know. It's actually a different church. Like, the ones over the other Warwick. side of the... The other side of the, the world... Um, east Coast. Yeah, well, I'll say world, but East Coast are just different. They are. So different. I love those old standstone blocks and also the clocks. I love old clocks in churches and all right up here it says since St Francis Xavier Cathedral it must be Catholic John because it's got mass and reconciliation so it has confession times. John, it actually it actually advertised confessional times. 11.30 to 12 on Fridays. On Saturdays it's 11 to 12 and 5.30 to 5.55. What are you saying? You want me to confess? Well, the shoe fits. Yeah, but oh, they're supposed to get everything private too, aren't they, really? Yeah, they can't say anything. Is that true? If you go and confess no, to a I, priest... I, I think that if, you, if you're confessing to a murder and stuff like that, they've got to say something. But I think if it's just like... I don't know. I don't know. Can someone pop that in the comments below? If that's true, in Australia, don't know what it's like in the rest of the world, but in Australia, if you go to confessional... Well, you've certainly got lots of cameras up um, there. Holy bloody moly. One, is two, it true three, four, that five, they can't seven, tell the police what you say? Well, it's open. Yeah. Wow, that is green. I've got a clock on the front of it. It's got all Latin writing up the top on that balcony too, John. So this plaque said that the Cathedral of St Francis Xavier Geraldton was solemnly consecrated and dedicated to the worship of God by the Most Reverend Barry James Hickey on the 30th of August 1988. The cornerstone laid 1870 of the first Catholic church built in this town was relayed here in the new cathedral of St Francis Xavier by William B. Kelly, DD, Lord Bishop of Geraldton, 3rd of September 1916. It's a shame they've got to cover up the stained glass windows. Yeah, it is. Look at all the, how intricate all this detail is. Look at the doors. Look at all this. this look, the... look, John, this is like a goblet. Yeah, but the doors look like they're from the medieval times, don't they? They do. And the, the Latin scales. scales. See? They're pretty clever back and in And I wonder days. what the rooster depicts. A shirt. Hammer and nails. Oh. On the cross. The hammer and nails would mean when he got, oh, when he got pinned Jesus. on the cross. And him, there you go. Monsignor Hall's Heritage Centre is open daily at 10 from 10 to 4 and then Cathedral Tours so the Heritage Centre that must be that down there John yeah and then it's Cathedral Tours Sunday Monday Wednesday at 2 30.
you so much. There's a staircase. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Oh yeah? Yeah. Or are you in trouble? Lead lights. Aren't they magnificent? So we're in this church and we're walking, just walking around. As you know, John and I like churches. And I came across this. Look. That's pretty cool. So I saw these things in the ground. I said to John, what's in there? And down here. Is where most Reverend William Bernard Kelly was laid to rest. Have a go at this. You can see his staff there, his gold staff, and the um, coffin lid, I suppose. Anyhow, I said to John, but where is he? Like, he's not in there now. But have a look at this. On the wall here lies the body of Reverend William Bernard Kelly, first Bishop of Geraldton, who died December 26, 1921, 64 years of age, 40 years as a priest, 23 years as a bishop. So he's in there, John. In this one? Yeah. See what you find when you go and explore. What do you think of that church, John? That was amazing. I think that is one of the best churches we've been in. Love it. Just, love just it. the way they had that coffin, how they, they just put glass on top and let That's everyone just look amazing. at it. Absolutely amazing. So if you're in Geraldton, come for this, come to this church. Come to this church and have a look and be very respectful. Yeah, amazing. It's amazing because um, we want these places to be left open. And if we had more time, I would say let's do the tour because I think $5 is pretty good for a tour. It's pretty good. The history um, that you would learn. Yeah, yeah, particularly with yeah. that reverend that's laid at rest here. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just
just brilliant. I know. Even, even in the um, the church thing we went to the, the, m- museum, the museum at the museum church. church. That was we so didn't full of film any of that, but oh. So let's have a talk about that, John. That church. Yep. The um, amazing. The 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 priest, the head priest that's there now. Yep. Is that what you called him, the father? Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll go with so, that. So. The church bells are hooked up to Bluetooth these days. And so this this father, I can't remember his name, he has all different songs for the church bells. So if he has a preschool group, he can play Bluey. You know, things like that. And the kids come through and... Pretty much every song he has. Yeah. And so he can make the bells play the songs. Like he's got the normal church ding-dong, ding-dongs. But for the kids... Yeah. He will play a song. And the lady in the museum said... She's a bit of a character. <laughs> and the, she said, pretty much any song they ask for, he can, play. he can make the bells play. So that's pretty cool. That would be a church that you'd, you'd want to go and have a mass or something there, wouldn't you? Is it mass, yeah. what they call it? Mass. Well, you're Catholic, John. Oh, yeah, yeah I know. I am. <laughs> Apparently, I am. I keep thinking. I haven't been to church like since I was like so, six yes, or I'm seven. I'm not Catholic, and I know it's called mass, but... Um, I'd go to that church. Oh, and also, also that um, that uh, priest's grave that we showed you. Oh, so the part that the first part, the square part, and there's a box. That was the original grave site, right? And the box on top of the on top of it, his bones are now in that box. She called that. That other part where it's like a person laying down, she called that a funny name. I'm not sure yeah, what she, yeah, what she, she called did. that. She did. She used a lot of funny names. Anyhow, that's like a monument to him. But his actual bones are in the box. But it was where the box lays that was the original um, coffin lid. And that was their third dig to yeah, find him. Yeah, it took him three digs to find him. So, absolutely amazing. Well worth go for you, Oh, yes, well worth it. All right, let's go.